In the study I reviewed for Issue 2, Volume 1 of Science of Rowing, researchers studied national team rowers and found that those using a blood flow restriction intervention significantly improved VO2 max and power at VO2 max compared to controls performing identical training with no blood flow restriction. You can read all about the how, why, and mechanisms in my written review in Issue 2. In this video, I'll demonstrate the researcher's protocol and ways to use blood flow restriction training, or BFR for short, for strength training as well. The researchers in this study used elastic knee wraps originally from the sport of powerlifting. The other option is an air inflatable pneumatic cuff product. I have no experience or affiliation with these, but some examples are Katsu, B3 bands, and smart cuffs. The advantage of elastic wraps is affordability at just $15 to $30 per pair. Pneumatic cuffs cost between $200 and $430 per set, which is well outside the means of most individual rowers and rowing coaches looking to outfit a boat or program. What elastic wraps lack is any sort of accurate measurement system or ability to adjust the wraps besides taking them all the way off and then putting them back on again. Pneumatic cuffs are more precise and easily adjustable while exercising or between bouts of BFR. Here's the researcher's protocol using elastic wraps. Wrap the legs only, as high up on the thigh as possible, to approximately 70% of maximum tightness for 10 minutes at a time during low intensity erging and rowing only. The rowers did two sets of 10 minutes of BFR per session, separated by a 10 minute break, and they repeated this three times per week for five weeks, along with the rest of their rowing, erging, strength, and cross training. One problem with BFR is that it's quite painful, even when you get the wraps to the desired level of tightness, so we can't really use the presence or absence of pain as a good guide. Wrapping too tightly and restricting arterial flow to the muscle typically results in a pins and needles sensation like the limb is falling asleep. Wrapping too loosely and failing to adequately restrict blood flow risks missing the benefits of BFR training. As you can see, I also found it quite challenging to maintain technique and pace under the discomfort of the wraps, both in terms of the blood restriction effect as well as the wraps themselves. I've been able to improve my own accuracy by feel with the elastic wraps, but this requires time, trial and error, and willingness to stop the exercise to redo when I wrapped too tightly, or just chalk it up to a loss when I wrapped too loosely. This can be frustrating, and I've never attempted to use BFR in my coaching due to limitations in being able to communicate and manage the ideal tightness of elastic wraps or afford pneumatic cuffs to solve the accuracy problem. This was the first study of BFR training in rowers performing rowing training. There's much more research on BFR and strength training, especially for muscle size. Two common protocols are the 30-15-15-15 rep scheme, or simply four sets of 20 to 30 reps with 45 to 60 seconds of rest between sets. Start off using light loads and exercises that just focus on arm or leg development, not heavier loads with full body compound exercises. So here's me demonstrating this with just the simple bodyweight squat. I set the wraps up the same as for erging, high up on the thigh as possible, and around 70% tightness. From there, it's just squatting and preparing for the pain of a very intense muscle pump from the blood pooling. The advantage here is that bodyweight squats would otherwise not be particularly challenging for me, but thanks to the blood flow restriction, we can get that increased challenge from decreased loading. It's easier to set the wraps up for lower body exercise since you can use both hands. Setting up for upper body exercise requires using just one hand to achieve the desired tightness and secure the band, and as you can see, this is an exercise of its own. Similar to BFR on the legs, we want to wrap as high up on the arm as possible. I'm demonstrating this now for the push-up and the inverted body weight row exercises. The theory here is that the biceps and triceps will fatigue more rapidly due to the restricted blood flow, which will increase the challenge for the back, shoulder, and chest muscles to maintain output under high fatigue. Also, because the push-up and row are opposite muscle groups, we could do these exercises back-to-back, -back, using one as the rest for the other. This lets us increase our workout density and get it over with more quickly. Between the results of the rowing study, existing research on BFR strength training, and my own personal experience in training, I rate BFR as very interesting and potentially valuable for rowers, but currently impractical due to the accuracy challenges of elastic wraps and the high financial cost of pneumatic cuffs. BFR may offer an edge for rowers and strength training for rowers, but my opinion is that only those who can afford the pneumatic cuffs 
or a team of researchers to manage elastic wrap tightness can potentially take advantage of it.